Good day to the Shins and welcome back to Tagum Doctors College. So I hope you have a very good uh, day for this day and I hope and I pray that you are surviving well in your own home. Okay, so last week we have learned about lesson number two of the trends, networks, and critical thinking in the 21st century culture. So, Muna siya to ang subject today and last week we have learned demo democratic interventions. So we learn what is democracy all about, what is the dimensions of democracy and democracy and other forms of government. So today we are going to learn information and communication technology. So this is about uh, the effects of advancement in ICT. So today we are going to or you are expected to learn or you are expected to describe the history, development and effects of the advancement of the ICT by explaining its nature and value and demonstrate awareness of the relationship between the emergence and progression of trend and information and communication technology by describing the links between the former and the latter. So, pinakauna, you are going to know. So, you are going to describe the history, development, and effects of the advancements of ICT. Tapos, ikaduha, magkaroon po awareness to the relationship between the emergence and progression of trend and information and communication technology. Okay, so gikan sa emergence and progression of trend, unsa pud ang kalabutan ani or ang link between them, the ICT and the emergence and progression of trend. Okay, so this is our intended learning outcomes for today's lesson. Now let's go to information technology. So, ma'am, unsa day ning information technology? Maoban nitong mga social media nga ato ang ginagamit. So, unsa ni siya most likely, ma'am? So, class, information technology is the term used to describe the items of equipment. So, ang equipment na ginaingon diri is the hardware and the computer programs which are the software that allow us to access, retrieve, store, organize, manipulate, and present information by electronic means. So, mauna siya ang IT or information technology. So, it means guys, dili lang siya limited sa uh, hardware. It also includes the software. So, Apil ani niya is ang katong mga data or katong mga ginagamit nato to access. So, just like the internet. To retrieve. So, just like when you use our Google Drive uh, store. So, unsa pa ang pwede nga makastore. So, we have the Google Drive. We can also organize, manipulate, produce, present, and exchange information by electronic and other automated means. So meaning ICT or the social media is also included in the ICT. So broad kaayo ang ICT guys. So apil atong mga hardware or software, katong tele telecommunications just like the personal computers, the scanners, the digital cameras are also part of the ICT. Our phones, our mobile phones, the faxes, the modems, CD, DVD, recorders, the digitized video, the radio, and TV programs are all part of the ICT. Okay? So to simply put guys, ang ICT nagatabang siya or katutong mga mechanism, either hardware or software, nga nagatabang or help us in transmitting, receiving, storing, accessing, and processing information through electronic media. Okay, so even the TV and the TV programs are also included in the ICT. So, unsa day ang history sa ICT, ma'am? So, let's try to know about the uh, ICT. So, beforehand, let's try to know uh, first unsa ang 
uh, digital or communication technology. So, ang second ay kalainan sa information technology o sa communication technology. So, ang communication technology, guys, is term used to describe tele telecommunication equipment. So, kung information technology, uh, kung siya, nakafocus siya sa computer, so just like the hardware and the software, si communication technology is nakafocus dito sa telecommunications equipment. Okay? So, kung i-add na to nila or isahaw nila to silang duha, mahimo siyang ICT. Okay? So, ang communication technology, nag-describe na siya sa telecommunications equipment through which information can be sought and accessed, for example, phones, faxes, modems, and computers. Okay? So, nakafocus ni siya sa communication. Now, atuan na silang isahon ni, ano, so magiging ICT, so magiging information and communications technology. Okay? So, collectively, guys, refers to the technologies, board hard, both hardware and software, so that enable humans to communicate with one another. So, gamit ang mga uh, software o hardware, gamit ang um, internet, gamit ang lahi-lahi ng mga technology, we can now communicate to one another. So, module na siya ang pinaka main purpose sa ato ang ICT. So now let's talk about the history of ICT. So sa unang panahon guys, uh, as far as when the abacus was invented around 3000 BC, although that was how it all started, the calculators we are all familiar with today were the first developed during the 19th century. So ang calculator de ay ang pinakauna nga ICT. Long after the discovery of electricity in the 1780s. So in 1833, Charles Babbage produced the initial designs of the computer. But it was not until 1931 that the first electronic calcu calculator was assembled by Conrad Zeus. So after Anna, Nanatay electronic calculator, which is assembled by Conrad Zeus. In 1894, guys, Guglielmo Marconi invented wireless telegraphy. So, uh, after sa, na, sa kana nga mga uh, year, in 1934 na po, or 1894, in 1894, nagkaroon na po taog wireless telegraphy. And then, we have the commercial radio broadcast for entertainment became widespread in Americas during the 1920s. So television has had its own origin from early transmission systems developed in the late 19th century. So the earliest television transmissions were made in the 1920s. So kung ano, nagkaroon na taog television, katong black and white pa, hantod nagkaroon na taog colored television. So this was first developed in the 1940s. So apil Japanese siya sila sa ICT. Hantod nga nagkaroon taog telephone. Telephone was invented in 1876 by Alexander Graham Bell. So the technology became widespread in the 1930s with the creation of telephone sets. Mobile phone technology was introduced in the 1970s and the earliest mobile phones were sold in the 80, I mean 1980s. So meaning guys, advancements in digital technology lead to the greater popularity of mobile phones. So it is gaining widespread use during the early 2000s. So ang naitabo guys, after ato, in the late 20th century was the high time for computer development. So nagkaroon na tayo computer development in the 20th century. So the first microprocessor was introduced by Intel in 1971 and the initial versions of the computers that we see today were manufactured by IBM in 1981. A decade after what can be regarded as defining moment for the ICT was the creation of the World Wide Web. So nagkaroon na takaroon og World Wide Web. So what we know today as the internet. 
in the 1991 by Tim Lee. So recent developments in ICT guys are basically characterized by improvements on existing technology. So ang ICT di ay nagkahinahinay o develop from atong calculator pa, abakos pa, hantod nga nagdevelop into a nice or very smart computers nowadays. So that's why guys, desktop computers were made are mobile through laptops and tablets. Karol, ang mobile phones, aside from being just tools for communication, are able to integrate other ICT. So, sa ito ang mobile phones, karon gi-integrate na ang mobile or ang ICT. So, we have the internet access. Now, you can use your phone for internet access. You can use it for camera. You can also use your phone for AM or FM radio. You can also use your phone for television. For data storage and calculator. So among others guys, apart from being capable of using various software applications to augment their features, computers, mobile phones, and televisions now have touch screens. So na po yung mga touch screen ng mga TV, na mga computer, mura siyang tablet slash laptop and can be connected to each other wirelessly. So maka-connect pag yun sa Wi-Fi. Uh, without wires. That's why it's Wi-Fi. <laughs> so ultimately, 21st century development in ICT focuses more on how ICT can be used to produce positive impact to society. So karon guys, sinahinay na nga gipaningkamutan uh, sa gobyerno and even uh, private corporations and institutions na magamit na to ang ICT to have a positive impact to our society. So, for example, guys, in uh, this scenario, like if you are trying to uh, use differentiated um, differentiated uh, corporations or even ICT nga makatabang ani nga mga uh, businesses or even organizations. So that's why there are a lot of businesses for tracking, for routing, for delivery scheduling, for radio frequency, for bar coding. So kung ato kag mall, di ba, i-scan lang nila ang bar, ang barcode and then makabalo na kakumpila pila ang presyo ato nga mga products so we also have the inventory management the address system the freight auditing the supplier management then the EDI okay so we can now pay using our debit card or credit card uh, directly deducted to our money in the bank so in ano na siya kanindot karon ang ICT. Okay? So, I hope all of us will benefit from the improvement or even the kanang paglambo or progress of our ICT. So, now let's go to the next one. So, next ani is the digital divide. So, mo ni siya ang consequence, guys. Diba? In every decision, in everything that we do, there is always a positive and a negative thing that will happen in every decision. So, kani po siya, guys. Ang ICT po, dili siya, ano, kanang, wala siya iligtas. Na po siya consequence of advancement. So, tungod kay nag-advance ang ICT, na ano po siya, uh, nilambo or na po siya yung mga consequences. So, pinakauna ani is the digital divide. So, unsa li ang digital divide, ma'am? So, digital divide is refers or refers to the discrepancy in people, people's access and skill related to ICT. So, dagan kayo mga rason nga nung nagkaroon taong digital divide. So, Tungod sa advancement sa ICT guys, naagid na siya digital divide. So na siya tulo ka levels ng nagkaroon tao digital divide. So pinakauna guys is to the disparities on in ICT use between people living in different parts of the world. So dili gid na to ma lalis o dili gid na to ma ingon or dili gid na to maka maka assurance tanga. Kita tanan 
nagkaroon ta og nindot na ICT or even uh, our or different parts of the world like the Philippines versus the US, Japan versus the other countries. So, we have a digital divide. Ang pinakauna ana kana siya because we are living in different uh, world and even world class gani. So, we have the first world country, the second world country, the third the third world country. So, this is happening in reality. So, naagani mga country gani nga wala pa gani kuryente. So, meaning uh, we doesn't have equal access in ano ICT. So, kasi naman yung mga country nga mga pubrika kaayo. So, alangan unahan pa nila ang ICT kaysa sa ilahang pagkaon. So, that's why uh, in terms of economic activity, guys, there are a lot of uh, this uh, disparate kanang lahi-lahi jud nga mga differences sa to ang digital, uh, I mean, digital divide or sa to ang ICT. Maybe here in the Philippines, sinay kayo ang internet, while in the US, kusong kayo ang internet. And then naapoy uh, lugar nga wala jud internet. And then, sa other countries or the first world countries have a very, ano, kanang taas nga level sa internet. So, that is digital divide. It is uh, unequal uh, services or accessibility. Dilitanan nga mga country ang naka-access sa, uh, sa internet. Okay? Second, guys, is the... Uh, what we call the unequal opportunities for ICT use within countries. So, sa sulod pagid sa country, so, aside nga nagkalahi-lahi taog sources or nagkalahi-lahi taog ka ng use within countries, inside pagid sa country, nagkalahi-lahi pagid taog ka ng unequal opportunities pagid ta sa ICT. So, kasi ang Ang uban natay ginaingon nga socio-economic position. So we have the katong mga rich, uh, average people, uh, below average people and katong mga poor pubrik ay yung mga tao. So because of the socio-economic uh, position, we cannot afford to buy ICT or even the things just like computers and internet. So that's why in the second interpretation, ICT or digital divide also includes the unequal opportunities for this. So, because of the differentiated socioeconomic position of the people, lahi lahi tao capacity. And then, second is level of education. So, lahi lahi po tag edukasyon. So, maybe na ay mga skwelahan nga wala nang tudlo o computer because they don't have computer. Especially katong sa mga bukid na. So, kung saan mo pagkabalo o computer kung wala kagi tudluan. So, we also have the place of residence. So, for example, even here in the Philippines, there are a lot of places and residences nga wala pa naabot sa kuryente. So, most likely, uh, diligid to sila magkaroon og opportunity to use the ICT. So, that's why we also have unequal opportunities for ICT. So, even gani diri sa Tagumdok, naiuban sa inyo nagagamit o kanang paspas kay nga internet, naiuban nga cellphone lang, naiuban data lang. So, we we have a digital divide which is uh, a big issue in even in education. Next, guys, ang ikatulong uh, dahilan nga na ay digital divide is to particip the participation in a democracy and the uh, possibilities that may develop after the digital revolution. So, mga po niya ang kanalisod ka ayun, no? Kasi in the third pod nga type sa digital divide is like, uh, ang uban is simuon nila nga opportunity ni para magkabuhat o mga dili maayo nga butang. Ang uban pod Imuo nila nga uh, ano, uh, opportunity ni to kanang influence others in a negative side. So, ang uban po, ginahimu ni nilang ano, uh, inf uh, influence others to para magkaroon o rebellion against the boredom of school. So, ginabuhat po ni nila as uh, kanang, gina mo ni siya ang kanang ano, batirada sa uban para ma -ano na nila, ma-influence nila ang mga tao nga mag kanang revolution or mag kanang dili mutuo sa government. So, mapunin siya ang mga pangit nga butang sa ICT. 
Okay, so because of ICT, just like the social media, we have different uh, lahi atong pagtuo sa gobyerno. So nai uban nga naga ano sila, naga daot sila sa gobyerno. But that is their freedom. Basa dili lang yun sila musub musubra or makadaot na yun sa kanang sa tuang sa tuang country. And then because of that, uh, napoy uban nga kanang walay pake alam. Uh, na po'y uban nga sobraan rapod kaayo ang ginapo sa, sa social media. So, that is also kana possibility nga ma-develop sa digital, sa digital revolution. So, magkaroon tao ka ng kagubot tungod kay uh, because of the ICT. Kasi we have a lot of freedom to show what we disagree, to show what are the things that uh, we doesn't like in the government and a lot of things. So, Magkaroon ni siya o kanang dili na tayo united, magkaroon ni siya o kanang digital divide and even like ma-divide na ang pananaw sa Luzon, sa gobyerno, sa Visayas, lahi po na ilang pagtanaw sa gobyerno o mga tao sa taga Mindanao, lahi po na ilang pag, uh, pagtanaw sa gobyerno. This is also one of the reason maanong gina ginatawag na tuog na atay digital divide because of the ICT. We also have uh, ultimately, it is a global endeavor to close the gap created by the digital divide. So, all of us or the global should help uh, each other to ano uh, to close the gap created by digital divide. So, dapat maklose to siyang gap. So, just like what happened in the issue of the Sera, nga abi nila og narape niya. Grabe na kayo ang ilahang mga posts sa social media na. And to think, wala pa sila kabalo kung unsa ang kanang nahitabo jud or kung unsa gud ang reality ato nga uh, nga panghitabo. So ina na siya guys, ma-judge na siya even though wala pa gani sila kabalo kung unsa ang tinuod nga nahitabo. So that's why guys, as a student or as a as a student nga nakabalo na nga na ay digital divide, you really or you should really know kanang kung unsa gyud ang kanang what how why of that certain topic before kamu comment or muhatag sa imuhang ideas og sa imuha agreements and disagreements so without proof so dili na lang jud kamu storya kasi wala man kay proof nga inani inani siya or uh, without something na makaingon ka nga tama ka then don't don't say that don't do that don't post that in the social media because it can create chaos. Okay? So always remember that be a better person. So no no ni mo nga tama ba niya ako ang gistorya diri? Di ba ko makadaot sa uban ani? Wala ba nako ginatapakan ang katungod sa ubang tao? So inana siya guys. So kinanglan na to mahibal ana so that we will have a very good and harmonious relationship with other people. Okay? Now, let's have the next one. So, let's try the example of a digital divide. So, here, guys, digital divide is the gulf between those who have ready access to computers and the internet and those who do not. Here are some figures to put things in perspective. So, just like here, guys. So, some can use the laptop. Some can use the, you know, the tablet. And then they have a very good uh, internet connection. Some doesn't have, even though they have kanang mga gadgets. Pero hinay gyapon ang ilahang internet. So, in ana siya, guys. So, here, guys, World Bank data shows nearly 60% of the world's people are still offline. So, meaning 60% pa sa mga tao, guys, ang dili nagagamit og ICT, dili nagagamit. <laughs> dili nagagamit og internet. And then, in the European Union, in the European Union, Three times more citizens use online services in the richest countries than in the poorest with a similar gap between the rich and the poor within each country. So meaning guys, uh, ang European country or katong mga first world country or richest countries guys are sila mismo or sila lang ang nagagamit sa uh, ICT or they have the, ano, they have the kanang capacity o kanang opportunity to use that. But the poor country, layo kay siya o gap. So we have a very slow internet connection. We have uh, kanang gamay lang ato ang magamit. 
or gamay lang ato ang magamit sa ICT because we are poor, we cannot ano, delete ang maka um, raise of fund or money to uh, invest in ICT. So we also have 6 billion people do not have high-speed broadband internet. So isa po ni guys, no? So delete na na ay uh, kusog nga internet connection. And then almost 4 billion do not have any internet access. Or nearly 2 billion do not have mobile phone. So daghan ka ayo no 4 billion ang walay internet access guys 2 billion ang walay cell phone or walay mobile phone and then in Africa guys the richest 60% are almost 3 times more likely to have internet access than the bottom 40% so even ang ilang mga average nga mga tao dili magkaroon or walay kanang opportunity to use the internet okay then the better educated guys, ang katong mga educated kaayo just like you and other students, they are well connected and the, they are more capable to have received most of the benefits. So sila lang ang naka-benefits, no? And the gains from digital revolution have not been widely shared. So dili siya wide, widely shared ang mga maayong nga butang nga nagain nato sa ICT or using ICT. So that is the problem. That is what we call digital divide. So daghan pa jud kaayo nga mga tao ang naglisod. Uh, even gani sa pagkaon maglisod pa sila and then dili gud nila i priority ang ICT. So daghan pa kaayo sa mga tao nga offline pa wala nag participate sa IT, ICT and the uh, social media itself. So kato lang yung mga dato ang nagagamit ani. So that is uh, very bad. So I hope that we can uh, create a very nice world nga makatabang nga munindot jud ang ato ang country and even the community sa. So it's a smaller version ato ang community then ato society and then the country at large. So that's why nang ningkamot jud ato ang gobyerno no nga magkaroon og fast internet or high speed broadband ang um, naningkamot gud sila nga mo paspas gud ang atong internet connection so that we will be or we will be better educated we will be uh, well connected and we can be capable to receive the benefits that the ICT bring okay so ayo lang sige og kanang mga buta nga dili makatabang sa imo nga mo grow og mo learn so always remember use the ICT to to learn more to be wise to be more educated okay so these things you can use this to develop a big hand to help you can use this to to develop a big head that is full of knowledge and wisdom and a big heart so that we can empathize to other people so let's try to use the ict guys in the goodness or para mo lambo pa ang ato ang country. Huwag mo lambo pa ang matag sa ato ah. So thank you so much to the students for listening to our lesson today. So I hope that you have learned a lot from our lessons. Always remember to review your lesson and try to uh, practice this. All the good things that you have learned in our lesson, try to practice it in your reality or in your real life. So always remember to be the better version of yourself each day. And be a good example to others and always remember to make your parents proud traditions. Have a great day. See you. Let's go to your assessments.